everyone, this is Lisa with card number 13. Wow, just one more to go um, before this day is over. Uh, this is card number 13 in the Fort Valentine 14 card challenge. I decided to just show you the finished project and two other cards I made using the same simple little um, design. Actually, me and some ladies uh, did these cards over the weekend and I will show them to you in a minute. I have here a piece of our designer series paper and behind the heart is another piece of the designer series paper and what it is is the pattern that's on the other side of this one. Um, I punch the top layer out using our full heart punch and then using um, some packing tape. I put a piece of packing tape behind it and mine is on a row like this. I really like this because um, it keeps the uh, this little f flap here, I don't know if you can see that, but it keeps the packing tape from going back on itself and I don't know if you've ever tried to separate packing tape from itself but it's very irritating and it's very challenging so I like that and it was very cheap, I got it from Target um, and let me zoom back in and then on top of that is Dazzling Diamonds as if you've ever watched any of my videos you've probably heard me say this before but it is one of my most favorite, if not my most favorite, glitter ever. I use Dazzling Diamonds more than any other glitter that I have. And there are the, I mean, I love the Fine Galaxy and the um, Cosmo uh, glitters that we have at Stampin' Up. They're very fine, but I can't help it. I love Dazzling Diamonds. I don't know, I guess. <laughs> it's like they say, diamonds are a girl's best friend. Anyway, so uh, the ribbon on top is a basic black grow grain ribbon um, and that is, is it yes five eighth inch and this is two pieces um, the bottom piece is probably about five cut it about five and a half or so and I used the cheater method taped it up on the back and then uh, just tied another piece here on top to make this little faux bow. And that was it. Very quick card. Um, it's all put on top of a piece of crumb cake cardstock. And it is uh, a four and a quarter by four and a quarter card. So now let me show you the more girly ones that I've done. Let me center that. I'm really sorry about the shadows. And I am just praying that these videos come out clear. <laughs> anyway. So here's one of them. I am in love with this paper, girls. This is springtime vintage out of our Occasions mini catalog. And I need to burn the edges on um, this bow. And I just did everything that I did on the other card I just showed you. Except that I used my Stampin' Majig to help me um, get my sentiment inside there. So I stamp forever directly onto the card itself but using the top layer as my template and my uh, stamp and jig. And if anybody really wants to see how I did that just let me know and I will happily make another card like this because they're so quick and easy and with this paper I just I thought it was pretty cute. And the ladies seem to enjoy it. So there's that one and here's the other one same thing, just uh, another um, pattern from the springtime vintage paper. I am so, so jazzed about that paper. I absolutely love it. The um, ink that was used is Rich Razzleberry, and the ribbon is also Rich Razzleberry. That's a grow grain, our 5 8 inch uh, grow grain ribbon. And um, I've mentioned this before. Um, these are all Stampin' Up! products. Um, I do use other things like my Cricut, um, but when I'm using all Stampin' Up! products, or if I'm using any, I will let you know because I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And if you're looking for one, um, I would be more than happy to be your demonstrator. Um, but if you already have one, then by all means, go to your demonstrator to get these products. Um, so, there is that. Very simple. I was so happy about these cards because just the paper. Yeah. I was so excited about this paper. It's so pretty. 
So let's see if we can squeeze the guy one in there. Zoom out. I'm going to have to raise my camera a bit for that. Hmm. I'm not sure how that's going to look when I go into editing. Hopefully, hopefully it's a good view. Anyway, as always, I hope you enjoyed this project. I look forward to sharing the very last um, Valentine's Day card with you. Um, I have enjoyed sharing these cards with you, and I just hope that you've enjoyed um, watching them. And uh, I look forward to our next time together. Thanks for watching.